Hey guys, welcome back to the Alpha Customs YouTube channel. So some of you have been asking what's happening with this car. So recently we've been doing some engine upgrades to this car or engine maintenance to this car. So we're going to look into that and see what we've done um, and give you guys a little update on the car. Uh, however, if you're new to this channel, my name is Andrew and on this channel we talk about things we do on this project car which is a 7 Series E38, 4 Series F33 Project Car 2 as well as customers' cars which vary. So if you do like content like that, please do remember to like, subscribe and comment. Be part of this Alpha Customs journey and let's go and see what we've done with this car. So recently we've just been doing engine upgrades to it so that we know that the car can be driven. Um, so recently I was at the garage to get a new fan clutch replaced so as you can see that's been replaced down there and also here as you can see there's been coolant splashing everywhere and this is like a common fault on these E38s where this bit of the radiator actually wears off and once removing this you can see the actual radiator has been broken here so since this is broken we need to get the actual radiator replaced so tried going to the garage to ask them how much it will be and they've been quoting me ridiculous prices so I was like it's not that hard to change a radiator uh, well that's what I'm saying at the start of the video um, let's hope that I stick to that at the end of the video um, so we're going to try replace the radiator today um, we're not going to be recording the whole thing but we'll do little snippets of when we take out the radiator and show you guys the condition of it but as you can see if it's broken like this there's no way that this pipe is going to stay as with pressure it's just going to come off and then all your coolant is going to splash off and I believe there was the remaining piece of this plastic inside here um, but we've taken that out so it's all good and all we have to do is take this out take all of this out and we're going to remove the air box the math sensor or the air sensor we're going to remove all of this which I've already done now remove all of this and then we get access to this sometimes it's good to change the expansion tank during this time as well however we're not going to do that during this time maybe next time we'll change the expansion tank too but today we're just going to change the actual radiator put in new coolant and hopefully it gives no more signs of coolant leaking from the car so that's why this car hasn't been on the, on the channel for a long time but now once we get this done we can get on and finish off the interior and let me show you guys how the interior looks at the moment so as you can see all of this is on the middle bit I've actually done off camera and I've put all this back in and the steering wheel is back to its old one and the back you can see there's the black seat on the bottom and the beige seat on the bot on the top which looks a bit weird but we'll get that changed to fully black soon and then we'll get the door cards changed as well um, but yeah this is just a little update video on the car as you guys have been asking me what's happening with the 7 series so i just wanted to give you a quick update Once all of this is off, so these are just held in with clamps, you undo these clamps and the airbox comes off. These are just held in with these six mil bolts. Same with all of this, you don't need to take it completely out, you just need space in order to remove this radiator. So now what we're going to do is get underneath the car, take off the engine tray, and then we're going to undo the actual tube that goes down there and then we can let out the water and then start removing the radiator from the top once you remove the extra cover for the radiator and you remove the expansion tank which is held in with this hose at the bottom and it's also a 6mm bolt so it goes straight into that pipe there 
you want to remove this pipe so I wasn't able to get access to this from the bottom so I'm going to remove it from here so you can use the flathead screwdriver or the 6mm bolt to remove this and then you should be able to pull out the radiator um, so now that there's loads of space to pull out the radiator you can pull it out without a sweat and as you can see this radiator is really really old so this shows that it's good to change your radiator once in a while good everything's just leaking out you want to have a bucket or something below to catch all the fluids otherwise it's just going to go all over the place once all that fluid is out then it's ready to take out and just make sure there's nothing else being held onto the actual radiator that's going to stop you from taking it out and out comes the old radiator as you can see this is really really old I believe this might even be the original part let me check if it is that hats off to BMW because that has held in for a long time to be I don't think this is actually it is yeah it is a BMW original part wow that's crazy it's held in for more than 20 years wow 1995 car with its original radiator you don't see that often you can see a night and day difference between the old radiator and the new radiator it's looking nice and fresh so now it's time to get this changed so now that the new radiator is in now we're just going to start getting all the hoses back on also there's a sensor that you want to remove from the previous radiator and fit it into the new one which is this and then as you can see this is the new fan clutch that was replaced and as you can see it's nice and new so once this is on we should be back and then we just need to make sure this clamps on properly make sure it fits in snug so it doesn't fall off or it doesn't make any rattle noises and you want to make sure that all these hoses are on tight as you don't want it to come off when there is pressure in the engine actually going to change the expansion tank too because as you can see inside here it's, it's like there's a plastic bit right there it's just chilling there so I don't want that going into the engine so to be safe it's better to just change the expansion tank because this is pretty old as well and it's only like 15 pounds or so so we're going to get that changed as well and then wrap it up and put the cooler in so it's another day and we've got the new expansion tank it was only like 10 pounds from euro car park so this is obviously an aftermarket part however it does the job so we're going to use it and we're going to remove this old one and just place it in we're just going to remove this tube and then put on the 
other one with this tube and then fit it all into place and hopefully it all sits into place properly um, and then job done.